We move on tonight, and all eyes today were on Cape Canaveral. America set to witness an historic return to space, launching astronauts from U.S. soil for the first time in nearly a decade. They spent the last two weeks in quarantine because of the virus, but minutes before liftoff late today, the launch called off for now. ABC's Gio Benitez from Cape Canaveral on what they're planning now. Tonight, with bad weather bearing down, it was touch and go right up until the last few moments before that historic launch. Dragon SpaceX, unfortunately, um, we are not going to launch today. But still, moments we've never seen before in America. Veteran NASA astronauts Bob Benkin and Doug Hurley walking out in their designer flight suits, giving the thumbs up. Their wives, who are also decorated astronauts, and their children, giving them air hugs, wishing them the best of luck. The crew taking Teslas for the traditional ride up to the launch pad, that emotional moment with their families, putting their hands on the windows. The astronauts arriving on launch pad 39A, the same one that sent people to the moon and launched the space shuttle program. Bankin and Hurley boarding SpaceX's Crew Dragon atop the Falcon 9 rocket. SpaceX, created by Elon Musk, looking to become the first private U.S. company to put astronauts into orbit. And there they are in view of the launch pad, so no doubt he's looking at the window. President Trump flying by aboard Air Force One, getting a spectacular view. But with less than 20 minutes to go, launch aborted. And David, the next time they can launch is this Saturday at exactly 3.22 p.m. The astronauts will go back into quarantine. Until then, David. All right, Gio Benitez with us live tonight from Florida. Gio, thanks. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.